So for day 16, I figured we compare the Rose 4 WrestleMod to the Rose 4 OG and this particular colorway. So what's up y'all, it's Adam Turner and I'm back here with another D-Rose review today. And today we're taking a look at the D-Rose 4 WrestleMods in this Midnight Skyline colorway. And the cool thing about this shoe is that it's a resto mod, meaning that it has some new features to it. Well, mainly one new feature that updates it compared to the original. So the big change to these and makes these a resto mod comes in the form of the midsole. Originally, the Rose 4s had a puck of Adi Prime back here in the heel, but the Rose 4 Wrestle Mods contain a puck of bounce back in here in the heel, and I think the rest of the forefoot is also a bounce midsole compared to having it just be a regular EVA midsole. I found that that has made a big change for these shoes, mainly in how the um, foot base of the shoe is implemented, uh, but also just in terms of the comfort of the shoe itself. Um, comparing these to the OGs, the OGs felt like they fit a much higher arch than what I at actually have. I have like a medium to like a low arch and the uh, rest of the mods actually feel like they just fit my foot much better and it doesn't have this side of the uh, midsole really pushing up too much in my arch, which I really kind of appreciate. You know, other tech features on the shoe are things that are, you know, pretty common and pretty much stick true to the OG, which is that, you know, this is a swim rep upper, which basically is a mixture of synthetic leathers and a mesh lining underneath it. You have a GeoFit ankle collar here, so you have these two ankle pillows here on the back of the collar, and the GeoFit padding here on the tongue. The old classic sprint frame, you know, this is the piece that you know keeps your foot locked in here to the back of the heel and onto the footbed. And this piece is a plastic extends from the uh, heel into about the forefoot. Again, a lot of people either really like the sprint frames or they really hate them because they felt like either A, they were too narrow, or they dug into their, like, their heels a bit. I, of course, never have had that issue with them, but I know some people have had and I just feel like it's important to acknowledge it. Um, when it comes to the outsole, this outsole implements the, at the time at least, new version of the pure motion setup compared to like, you know, the Rose 1 and 1.5s have a pure motion setup. This was a new generation one they did of it that was first introduced on, I believe, the Crazy Quicks and then was shown in the Rose 773s and on the Rose 4s. The Rose 4s have a much beefier outsole traction pattern compared to the Crazy Quicks and the Rose 773 2s, but the Rose 4s uh, traction pattern is still the exact same in terms of setup and the heel does keep those three stripes on there, which is, as you know, a classic piece that we're used to seeing in the D Rose line. When it comes to the three stripes on the back of the heel too, you do have those here on the, the sprint frame itself. Um, this is supposed to be 3M and by the looks of it, I think it's just now a textured. I know on these OGs, I'm pretty certain these were still 3M and by the looks of it, I think they actually are there, but on the Rustle mods they aren't and that's kind of like a hit or miss thing. You know, one of the things I will say about the Rustle mod that I do really like is I think it's great to have this great performer back able, you know, well, it was semi-easily available, I guess, when you first got, but not this colorway, actually. The Rose 4s actually weren't that easily available in the States. But if you were in the right place in the world, getting a pair of Rose 4s, if you would like playing these, it was something that you were able to do again, and that was really awesome for some people. Um, I did like having the D-Rose logo here on the tongue. It's not 3M, but behind the tongue, you do have this, like, shimmering color that would... Uh, reflect back light if you did get a flash with uh, you know any do like flash photography with them and on here it's kind of like an iridescent color that shimmers between these different hues of like purple on there as well you know when it comes to the outsole in the rose fours the traction on here was really great and i also feel like it was a great step up from where we were at with the rose threes and the rose threes didn't have bad traction here's the 3.5s but i did like just having a nice aggressive traction pattern uh for the rose fours and 4.5s that was still really good you know because as you go through changing shoes from year to year and you want to get lay, lay this model, I'd always hate when you go from a shoe that had like really great traction, you'd be like, ah, oh, this is kind of so-so. But that wasn't the case, thankfully, with the Rose 4s, and I did really enjoy the traction on these. Now, we just start talking about some of the other differences with the rest of the mod compared to the OGs. And for that, I'm just gonna, you know, pull over one of these OGs for us to look at and kind of start breaking down some of the differences. Now, immediately, what shocked me and what I did not realize until I really looked at them again is that colorway wise, uh, this is a much deeper purple that's almost like a bluish color to it on the rest of mods versus the OGs have a much lighter purple on here. Um, the back of the heel piece itself is about the same. You know, I would argue that the differences you notice from heel color 
and tonal shifts there comes down to just uh, time. You know, this is a pair that I got back in 2014, and I think I got these on sale for like about like $50 or so. And I also got these actually on a quite a deep discount as well too. But um, you know, these, the color on them is just much different than it is on these. I'd say the greens are even to a different shade as well. Could that be due to time? It might, but like I swear I even look at old uh, you know, product photos of the Rose 4s when they first came out in this colorway. These colors have stayed pretty true over time, whereas I feel like this is just a huge departure. And honestly, between the two of them, I really kind of like the way these look more color tone wise compared to these. Um, something else that you know I've talked about, but I don't think I've ever really strictly shown everyone in any of these videos is the laces. So the Rose 4 OGs have these flat laces and the Restomod have these oval laces. And now the oval laces people might like more than the flat ones from a performance side of things because the flat ones people would complain about not really tying together and easily staying tied together. Whereas I know some people really like oval laces more because they seem to give you better, they seem to better stay tied better and they also, some people like them for better lockdown which I don't really know if I've ever noticed by much of a difference between like oval and flat. To me, it depends on the shoe and the upper itself. But again, it's not something that I've never noticed a difference with, but you know, I'm not going to say that's not the case. Um, the other thing too is the laces that you come with on the Rose uh, 4 is like this multicolor, you know, gradient change and shift that happens between them, which I also think is another really dope and cool thing. Um, that is not what you get on the Resto Mod. It's all the same color throughout, and I think even on the uh, Aglets, yeah, it's all still the same color. So nothing really big has changed uh, there. Well, not big has changed, I guess I should say, but nothing really is the same as it is on these when it comes to these in terms of laces. Um, in terms of the tongue itself, the tongue design is a little bit different. I'd say that this tongue on the OGs is a little bit different type of a mesh tongue that has some like you know breathability and see through with it whereas the resto mod it's very different where it almost looks like a jersey like material that's just a very different look than it is with these now i will say though like weight wise i can't say that these feel like super lighter but there's a, something about them that does feel ever so uh, a little bit lighter and i think it comes into like back here in the heel this puck of body preen is much heavier than the puck of bounce is i think i think bounce as a foam is just a is just a lighter foam base than the audi preen is so that's another thing too to kind of notice and, and see with these the other thing too is that you know when it comes to the insoles and in them you know the insoles in the og are the nicer thicker uh adidas insoles i talk about that i like they have kind of some nice padding to it whereas the insoles and the resto mod are more well they're basically the exact same insole setup as what you have inside the rose one of 1.5s and it is even the same like pattern set up on it too whereas compared to when these came out this is the pattern that they had used on which is very different than what you have on here um but yeah and that could be another thing too that may, contributes to why these feel a little bit lighter than the ogs and it comes down to the insole but you know it's not a huge deal but it just is something that i kind of noticed and like through all the resto mod pairs that i've bought um and really i only have i guess i have four of them i feel like these are the most different from the ogs um, compared to the other ones i feel like the boardwalks the homes and the uh, uh the simeons are not that different like i feel like they for the most part stay pretty true to the ogs minus some stuff that comes to the laces now another place too to kind of show you guys a difference of things with the shoe itself or i guess with the shoe and how it came packaged is that uh you have a white d rose box for the ogs and now this was the box that they would use whenever it was like a special release or meant to be like a special edition shoe. So, you know, these show that these retail for 140, but this dot on here means that they were, you know, marked to being on clearance. I'm pretty sure I got these from Finish Line for about 50 bucks. And I can't remember that was, oh, there's a receipt in here. Okay, so yeah, looking at this receipt, guys, I paid $44 for these. So before my discount, they were about like, uh, I think like about like $89 or so. I'm looking at the 35, 16, yeah, so. To get these for that type of steel is pretty crazy. Um, the other thing too about these when they did come out is that they came with this bag in here as well too, which 
I really like that. I thought it was a nice touch. It's a back, you know, just a dust bag. It says, has a D-Rose logo on it. It says Rose at the bottom too. So that's really cool. And, you know, comparing these socks, I can say that, you know, this is a brand new pair of these socks I never, I've never worn that go with the Rose 4s. And, you know, I can look at the actual socks that I did wear. I can see a little bit of fade and color in them, but nothing huge, which I think still goes to my point that when you look at the, you know, interior lining for this shoe, it definitely is a little bit different than it is on the Resto Mods, which again, it's not meant to be a bad thing, but it is something that is different. Now, when it comes to the to the Resto Mod pair, you have a black D-Rose box. Um, again, it's the classic like D-Rose box style, so it's the same style as that one, but albeit this is a little bit more uh, squarish than rectangular-ish. Um, and these don't come with the D-Rose hang tag, they don't come with the bag, but what these do come with, which I think is kind of nice, is an extra pair of laces, which I think is kind of meant to be a way of, like, I know we didn't give you, like, the exact same laces as the OGs, but this is something, right, you know? Now, these I also got on sale. I have the receipt in here for these. Let's see what I paid. I got the Rose 4 Resto Mods for $59. So that's not bad, and I bought, a, I bought my water bottle with these as well, too. So, you know, that's just you know, something that, like, you kind of just notice the differences between these pairs, and, you know, when you find stuff for a steal, it's great. Uh, but I will say that, like, I don't know if I like them being this deep of purple, but I guess over time it maybe would be for the best. Um, but it's a nitpicky thing. Like they're not, it's not bad that it's not the same color as the OGs exactly, but it is one of those things that you know, um, if you're a Die Rose fan, Rose fan like I am, you know, Die Hard Rose fan like I am, then you would notice. And it's just one of those things that you kind of can see with time. But hey, again, it's not a horrible thing. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Do you like the Rose 4s? Uh, do you like this rest of my colorway more? Do you like how the OGs look? You know, it's meant to be the same colorway, but like I said, again, they're just those ever so slight differences between them. You know, what did you guys wear for the D-Bro Sneaker Challenge today? Did you uh, wear anything that you really liked? Any, any special kicks? You know, tomorrow is my birthday, and I don't know what I'm going to wear yet. I'm trying to decide what I should review. I technically have at least one more rose pair in my possession that I could do a review of before I'm totally out of pairs I've never reviewed before on the channel. Um, I got two, I guess, on the way, I suppose. So we'll see how that kind of works out. But again, I got some ideas. We are officially past the halfway point with today. So we'll see how we get through the rest of the month. But I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Until next time, peace. I'll catch you guys around later. Bye. And we're going to make a small interruption for this cat. Get down.